Hello and welcome to the Soft Hummingbird Tutorials. This is a series of tutorials in which I show you step by step how to simulate a simple cantilever or a simple mechanical beam with the finite element software COMSOL. You can download this video and the COMSOL file with the other tutorials on my webpage softhummingbird.com. Now let's take a look at the frequency dependence if the beam length is varied. For that, we will do a parametric sweep of the parameter beam L. And as I said, more details you can find in the sweep tutorial. Before we start with that, we first clear all solutions in order to free some memory. Then the simulations will be done faster. I always do that before a new simulation. In this simple example, it's not too important, however. For the sweep, we right-click the study node and select Parametric Sweep. We add the beam L parameter that we defined at the beginning. And select the range. Here it is really important to also type in the units in square brackets, or else the program could calculate with a unit meter and then it will run out of memory. Here I deliberately omitted the units to show you how it would look like since I do this mistake quite often and wonder why nothing is happening. If you forget to type in the units, you will see this here in the progress bar, because then no progress will be done, because the program will calculate and calculate and so on. Then you can just stop the simulation. Ok, now let's do it with units. Now we will clear the solutions that we calculated again. Right-click on Solver Configurations and click on Clear Solutions. And define the parametric sweep with units. So we want to simulate a beam of 100 microns to 1000 microns with 100 micron steps. We edit and simulate. Ok, right click on study and say compute. If we take a look at the progress now, we see that there is actually something happening. And here we see the different solutions that are just being calculated. Alright, and that's it already. So let's see what we got. We select our last simulated solution and here we have our parameters, the beam with a different length. And you see, even though we selected micrometers at the beginning, the values are displayed in meters. That's why it is so important to define the units for the parametric sweep. Ok, and for each of those beam lengths, we have six eigenfrequencies that are displayed here. Now we can plot for any beam length any eigenfrequency from these lists. In order to remove this frame, we go to the parent node and click here. Now we can use the Zoom Extends button. But in the parent node, we cannot select and plot the different parameters and eigenfrequencies, which is one of the very odd things about COMSOL. So we have to go in the surface node to display those things. Now if you want to play the video with a full harmonic oscillation, 
we go to the player node. Here we select our mode shape that we just played with. Again, select the dynamic extension and the full harmonic. Now play and this is how the video looks like. Now let's go back on our surface node and select an interesting resonance to display. Select the 200 micron beam length. Turn off the edges by clicking here. And now let's look at this resonance. Or at this. Or this one. Wow, this one looks interesting. In order to see the full harmonic oscillation, go back on player and just click play. Cool, isn't it? Before saving this file, we delete the old solution that we do not need anymore. Right click on solution 2 and delete it. Ok, that was it for this tutorial. In the next part we will extract the data about the eigenfrequencies and compare them to the calculated values of the analytical formula of a singly clamped cantilever. And now I would be happy if you would visit my webpage to watch and download all of the COMSOL tutorials and play around with the COMSOL file yourself. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe and vote for this video. Thanks for watching.